I think it's hard to predict sort of where the market's going to go. Uh, this is sort of the $64 million question is how, how are companies uh, going to become more innovative and in fact uh, is the new uh, recent economic conditions going to actually encourage or, or thwart innovation. Uh, I think the answer is yes to both, quite honestly. You're seeing uh, about a 50-50 split in the number of organizations uh, that are saying uh, we can't afford to innovate and those organizations that are saying we can't afford not to. Um, those that uh, I think are in, in an economic situation that is uh, incredibly critical, uh, then they tend to be ducking and covering. Um, those that see an opportunity and, and who have uh, been in the lead uh, have a little bit of luxury uh, with regards to uh, being able to invest uh, in the future. But I think regardless, uh, organizations are going to have to find different ways to develop um, new products, new services, new concepts that are viable and attractive to their consumer segments. And that means, for the most part, becoming much more consumer-centric. And I, I think it's important to point out, too, that, that consumer-centricity, I think, is an often discussed but, but, but not well understood concept. Um, tons and tons of, uh, almost every major organization in some way or another uh, does lots of consumer research. Um, but doing lots of consumer research and knowing the buying habits or the interests of your consumers does not consumer-centric make you. <laughs> uh, in fact, um, it is, is, is much deeper than that. It is about changing and shifting uh, from the beginning of the process to the end of the process to become uh, oriented, beginning at the end, if you will, uh, to become consumer-centered, to develop all of your solutions uh, based on what the needs, wants, and desires of your customer base are.